course, uh, as ambassador of Korea, uh, you know, here, you, you are new to the countries, and probably you have explored the country a little bit, you know, in terms of uh, traveling, uh, you know, to other provinces. Have you done that? Or to look at the uh, historical sites? Very sorry for that. No time. Because I <laughs> have been very busy uh, for the last eight years. Ah, I, see. I have seldom traveled to other provinces. Uh -huh. uh, after just after one month, uh -huh. I had our president here ah, I see. in November, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, this year, the January this year, I had uh -huh. our president of National Assembly. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I had to accompany him, uh -huh. so that's the first time for me to go to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Because I should accompany you to ah, Chiang Mai. Okay. <coughs> right? <coughs> and uh, last month, we had our prime minister here. Uh -huh. So you were ambassador for many years. Uh -huh. You may know very well. Uh -huh. You cannot have president and uh, prime minister and the president of National Assembly in the short period uh -huh. as an ambassador. Uh -huh. So. I couldn't have much time to go to, around to, 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 to acquaint yourself. Mm -hmm. But I had a very brief uh, trip to Phuket. Mm -hmm. Arrived there at night mm -hmm. and left uh, the, other, the next day mm -hmm. because I wanted to attend the international taekwondo mm -hmm. competition, the opening taekwondo. ceremony. Mm -hmm. There were around 1,000 athletes from uh -huh. all parts of Thailand uh -huh. and also from other countries uh -huh. in Phuket. Uh -huh. So that was my first trip to the other places. I see. Uh. So, so when you came in, uh, actually you were thrown in, in a way, you know, into official function right away. Mm -hmm. Three important uh, delegations coming. Yes. And... Uh, also, our Prime Minister uh, yes. went to Korea also, yeah. right? Last so you, you uh, must be involved also with the preparation you yeah. know, of her trip to Korea as well. Yeah, last yeah. February, mm -hmm. uh, Her Excellency Prime Minister Ing Na mm -hmm. went to Korea to attend the inauguration mm -hmm. ceremony mm -hmm. of the new uh, President Park Geun Hye. Ah, okay. So she, was the, she is the first uh, uh, foreign dignitaries. Mm -hmm to visit Korea mm -hmm. from, uh, for, uh, during this government, uh, which began the, in February. Is that because uh, the two uh, both ladies? Yes. So some sort of, uh, you know, uh, getting very good chemistry, you know? Yes. Eh? In a way. You know, ladies, uh, leaders. It should be noted that mm -hmm. Uh, our president Park Geun Hye was chosen among the 100 influential uh, figure of the world by the Time magazine ah. of the United States. Ah, I see. Uh, for the selection of the most influential uh, people, mm -hmm. the Prime Minister Ing Na mm -hmm. sent a recommendation letter ah. for uh, President Park. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's also an evidence between the good relationship mm -hmm. between the two lady leaders. Iron ladies, I would say. Uh -huh. Two iron ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you mean iron lady? Strong, you know, <laughs> lady become leaders. <laughs> so, so you are any other VIP traveling uh, to your country? Ah, there have many. Uh -huh. I went to the airport many times to see off your VIP mm. is going to Korea. Mm. The first one was uh, President of the National Assembly, Mr. Somsa, ah, okay. uh, last uh, November. Mm. And the second one was the uh, Prime Minister Ing Na. Mm -hmm. The third one was uh, Her Royal uh, Highness, Princess Mahajakri Silinton, ah, okay. yes. who went to Korea, I think, from 16th to 20th of April. Ah, okay. Before that, mm -hmm. uh, she graciously permitted me the audience with her. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I went to the palace mm -hmm. to see her. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that was before her trip to Korea. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, from the end of the March, the North Korea <clears throat> uh, began to uh, began to uh, rhetoric threats to Korea. Mm -hmm. You may know that they fired the long-range missiles mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. and this year they tested the nuclear arms mm -hmm. in spite of continuous warnings from the international community, mm -hmm. inter alia from the United mm -hmm. Nations Security Councils. Mm -hmm. They did that kind of provocation and there was the resolution from the UN, UN Security Council of the sanction mm -hmm. against the North Korea. Mm -hmm. After the sanctions resolution, North Korea became, uh, began to uh, give us the rhetoric threat. Mm -hmm. So many people felt there may be some uh, military conflict in North Korea, uh, mm -hmm. in Korean Peninsula. Mm -hmm. As you may know, uh, there have been a great number of people-to-people -people contact between our two countries. Last year, mm -hmm. the number of uh, uh, the people-to-people -people contact was reached 1.5 million mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Among them, 1.17 uh, were Koreans coming mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and 330,000. Mm -hmm. Thai people went to Korea. Mm -hmm. And in April, it was just before the Songkran holidays, mm -hmm. many Thai people were planning to uh, go abroad mm -hmm. to enjoy their holidays. Mm -hmm. And Thai tourists to Korea has been growing, mm -hmm. but there is a, a rhetoric threat mm -hmm. from North Korea. Mm -hmm. Uh, before I go to the palace to see Her Royal mm -hmm. Highness uh, Princess Sirinton, mm -hmm. I thought, what kind of evidence mm -hmm. I should give, and give to her mm -hmm. to persuade her that it's safe mm -hmm. in Korea, mm -hmm. just before he, her scheduled trip to Korea. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't explain much. Uh -huh. Because she said first, during her trip to China, she heard from the Korean expert uh -huh. that there is no real threat in Korean Peninsula. Uh -huh. She said so first, so I, very I did not have to <laughs> very relief. Yeah. add more uh -huh. to explain the situation in Korea. Uh -huh. I was very moved at the airport, mm -hmm. VIP room on that night mm. when she left for Seoul. Uh, you may know that there were around 100 people mm. uh, uh, in the VIP room to see her off to Korea. Uh, Korea. I was at the, three, the third position mm. from the end. Mm. There were many standing there. It came to you. <clears throat> and uh, you do not uh, shake hands with her, right? Eh with the royal family, you mm. are not allowed to. Mm -hmm. When she came to me, mm -hmm. uh, she shook hands with me uh -huh. and brought one booklet uh -huh. and opened it and showed it to me and she said in Chinese, uh -huh. do you remember this? Uh -huh. I'll tell you what happened. What happened? During the audience, I explained that uh -huh. Our president, Lee Myung Bak, uh -huh. went to the Klong Lapo, uh -huh. the royal Klong project. Mm. Royal project. Yeah. Mm. Klong Lapo. Klong Lapo, the royal project. Uh -huh. And as I explained the uh -huh. visit to her, uh -huh. and she remembered. Mm -hmm. And the book was among for the Bangka Chao. Park, Pikao, Park. Bangka Chao Park. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, the lung of Bangkok. That's right. With the forest, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And there is a Glong Lapo, the a photo of Glong Lapo. Uh -huh. So she opened the book and pointed it to me and 
asked me, do you remember this? Uh -huh. And she said in Chinese. Uh -huh. During the audience, I didn't say, I didn't speak Chinese. Uh, she knew at, that you. At the last of the uh -huh. audience, I added that I spent many times in China. Uh -huh. And she studied in China, right? Uh -huh. So I, she could speak very fluent oh, Chinese. Yes, she speak Chinese, she speak German, she speak English, so many languages. I was moved very much because she remembered that uh, I talked about the royal project mm. at Klong Lapo. Mm. So she brought the book. Mm. The second one, she mm. remembered I, mm. could sp I can speak Chinese. Mm. She addressed me in Chinese. Mm. And the third one, she prepared the book mm. and carried it to the airport to give it to, to me. To show you, to give it to you. So I was very glad and felt honored mm. and uh, moved a lot and uh, told many friends about this episode. Afterwards, I came to think yeah. that she's, she may not be so kind only to me. Mm -hmm. She's very considerate uh -huh. to other people too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why she's so much respected by the Thai people. Mm. That's the later I <laughs> thought about this, this point. <laughs> At first, I just felt glad. <laughs> she, Ambassador, uh, she, what you have told us uh, really uh, reflects, you know, our very close relation between our two countries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what you have told us about uh, her royal, uh, uh, you know, Highness Princess Mahajakri, uh, also uh, reflect what we have known about her. She is always very kind yes. and very really gracious yes. to everybody, very considerate yes. to all of the people. That's why she is very well loved in Thailand. Not only in Thailand, but in, in yes. other countries also. In, in China, she was voted uh, the best friend, one of the best friends of China also. Yes. Uh, when I was ambassador, I had the chance of uh, the privilege mm -hmm. of uh, receiving her, uh, everybody there in Europe, you mm -hmm. know, in Austria, in, uh, uh, in Belgium, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Belgium is also. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. She, everybody there loved her, mm. you know, very, very good. Uh, so what she has been doing is uh, for the country. Yes. And uh, I would say it's... Uh, She's, uh, in a way, she has been helping uh, our relation with so many countries. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we can say, <coughs> the very top, the very best diplomat, in a way. Yeah. But she's beyond diplomat, <laughs> beyond diplomat. And well, the, uh, Ambassador, I, I think we have come to the end of our first session, mm -hmm. and then we, we come back to uh, our deep talk, come back for the next uh, session.